Hello guys and welcome to your first Arlichit tutorial. In this tutorial I'll be showing you how to and set up Arlichit with code blocks and windows. Alright, so first thing first you need to go and download Arlichit from the website. So let's do that right now. So you can just go to our legit.com or just Google search it. Then you want to click the first link. It should say our legit.sourceforge.net. Now we just want to go to the left hand side and we're going to go to the downloads tab. I'm going to click that. Now the most recent one should be normally at the top. So right now it's 1.8.1. Get the newest one. So just click that and then you extract it and download it. Put it wherever you need to put it. You know how that is. Alright. Once you're done with that, you need to go to codeblocks.org to get code blocks. And you go to the left hand side and click the download section. And now you want to click download the binary release at the top. And now you want to scroll down and click the one that says main gw setup dot exe. So it's this one right here, the one in the middle. Okay, so you want to click whichever place you want to download from. I normally download things from SourceForge. And you guys can just download it as you normally would download it. Download something. Alright. Once you have both of them extracted and stuff. So basically, now you just extract it. Alright. So now we need to make a new project and code blocks. So go to file, new, click project. Now we're going to make a console application. Go we'll click that. And now choose what you want to name this project. So I'll just name it our legit tutorial. Alright, next, finish. Alright. Now what you have here, if you want to just delete all this stuff right here. Alright. Now we need to go right click the project and go to build options. And now click the main project and click the linker settings tab. Now click add Link libraries, click the browse button, and now you need to browse to where you have our legit. So, in my code blocks directory, I have my SDKs folder, and then I put it in our legit. And I'm going to go to the most recent version, so right here. And now you want to go to the lib folder and go to win32 GCC. And click this lib or richard dot a file. To click no for a relative path. Click OK. Now to go to the search directories tab and compiler sub tab. Click add. Now we're going to add the include folder in that directory. So go to where you have extracted or legit. And now we need to include that include folder. So right here, here's your my include folder. So just double click that, click OK, and click no the relative path. And click OK again. Now go to the linker sub tab and we're going to add the lib folder. So the same thing, but this time we're going to click the lib folder. So go to that directory. And 
and make up the lib folder and now we need inside the lib folder we need to click the win32-gcc folder click ok and no to world to path ok again and there you go ok now let's start writing the code alright so we need to include our Richard so include our legit dot h next we need to use namespace so using namespace ir alright now we have our main loop no our main function alright in here we need to create a device so we're going to use our device. So our legit device device and is equal to our it's equal to IRR create device. We'll just create device right now since we already are using that namespace. So create device EDT OpenGI. Alright, that we create device. We need to make the video and all those other drivers. Alright, so video create video driver. So now we have video, I video driver. And we're going to name this driver. Set it equal to create alright guys. So here's our code. Alright, so first line. First things first, we need to create our device. So we have our Richard device, it equals create device, and we're going to be using OpenGL. And now we have our little something to make to handle if the device wasn't initialized correctly. So if the device wasn't initialized correctly, then we're going to return one, which ends the program. Alright, now we have our video driver. And we named it driver and it's equal to device get driver. So basically now we have the driver for the program, video driver. Now we need a scene manager and it is equal to get scene manager. So now we have the scene manager to handle the scene. Now we have the GUI environment and it's equal to get GUI environment. So now we have our environment to handle that to do the yeah, user interface stuff like that. And now here, all we're doing here is we are printing out hello world to screen to the window and it we're printing it at x coordinate 10 by coordinate 10 it's 100 in width and 30 in height now while the device equals one so basically while the program is running we're going to begin the scene we're going to set this color settings and stuff now we're going to draw everything in the scene manager then we're going to draw everything in the GUI environment and then we're going to end the scene so this is pretty much refreshes the screen okay now once it's not running once the program is finished running it's going to drop the device and then we're going to return zero all right so let's see it's in action look out for typer um, typos okay now let's run this let's see what happens And there you go. A nice early screen with the words Hello World printed in the top left hand corner. Alright, guys. Now let me just show you how to make a template of this before we go. Alright, so file, save project as template, enter the name for the template, 
So I save it as our legit tutorial. Click OK. There you go. And now, if you want to access a new project from that template, you type new from template and you double click the template and click go. And now you just do your setup, like where you want to put it, and stuff like that. Alright, guys, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.